Here's your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Blake Keller. Here's a look at the top stories we are following today. The court dates have been set for a man accused of murder and mutilation. Police say Mark Lutunsky murdered 25 year old Kevin Bacon, a college student he met in Chiawassee County through a dating app in December 2019. Lutunsky was found mentally competent to stand trial. He will return to court on October 13th to either accept or reject a plea deal. A jury trial is scheduled for October 18th. An apartment fire in Bridgeport Township leaving one person dead. The fire reportedly started around 2.30 this morning on King Road and Dixie Highway in Williamson. Six families have been displaced by the fire. Six units are now unlivable. The Red Cross is making arrangements for those displaced. Authorities are still investigating the cause. Stay with TV5 as we learn more. Several Republican contending uh, contenders to become Michigan's next governor may be ruled ineligible for the primary ballot today. The state's elections bureau, bureau says former Detroit Police Chief James Craig, businessman Perry Johnson and three others did not file enough valid petition signatures to qualify for the August contest. Craig had been leading in most GOP primary polls and Johnson already spent millions of dollars of his own money on the contest. A four person bipartisan board of state canvassers will vote today on the recommendation to keep them off the ballot, but candidates who don't make the ballot can challenge the decision in court. All right, here's Johnny striking the latest in your forecast. Thank you, Blake. Here's a look at your forecast for the rest of your Thursday. Going to be a little bit of a warmer day today with a little bit more humidity. Let's talk about temperatures and we're talking 70s by this afternoon. Periods of some showers and even a few thunderstorms definitely still going to be in the realm of possibility. I think our best time frame for the rest of today going to be into the later afternoon and then especially early evening. Here's a look at our severe weather outlook. They did upgrade this from earlier this morning from the Storm Prediction Center. They did move it a little bit farther north, the marginal risk in the green there. So that now does include the Tri Cities, the Thumb, and Flint again this afternoon and into the evening. And we're not looking at a big severe weather outbreak, but a few strong severe, or I should say, a few strong thunderstorms still will be in the realm of possibility for later today. Heavy rain, hail, and some gusty winds, the main threats there. Just make sure you do have a way to still get any weather alerts on any devices you may have. Memorial Day weekend outlook still looks good there. Past the rain today and tomorrow, we're drying out by Saturday. Sunday, Monday, looking like some more sunshine and warmer temperatures too. Only rain chance will keep is Sunday morning, but even then it looks very minute at best. So I think we get through most of this time frame dry and a very warm end to the weekend and even warmer as we go into next week. So there it is the next seven Thursday, Friday. The rain chances will continue periodically. No big washouts either day. There will be a few hours of some dry time there. Saturday, Sunday still looking dry too, 70s and 80s. And then as we go into next week, lots of sunshine. Temperatures approaching 90 on Tuesday. And the first Warren 5 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist John Gross. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.